This is a large collaborative project between several investigators here at the BCNDD and our collaborators in Belgium at Janssen Pharmaceutica in the context of studies uh, where we and others have been developing positive allosteric modulators for a glutamate receptor called MGLU5 for treatment of schizophrenia. These MGLU5 PAMs have robust efficacy in rodent models that predict antipsychotic efficacy and cognition enhancing effects. And the original hypothesis that drove the decision to focus on the positive allosteric modulators for this receptor uh, were based on the NMDA receptor hypofunction hypothesis. So that NMDA receptor hypofunction is thought to be related to schizophrenia, MGLU5 couples to uh, increasing NMDA receptor function, and it was thought that these uh, MGLU5 PAMs might reverse some of these uh, NMDA receptor hypofunction deficits. In the course of these projects, uh, what we found is that we could develop compounds that have bias so that they will activate coupling of MGLU5 to some signaling pathways, but not others. So that normally a MGLU5 PAM enhanced coupling of the receptor to all signaling pathways, but we can now selectively impact coupling to some and began to develop compounds that potentiate most aspects of MGLU5 signaling, but do not potentiate MGLU5 coupling to NMDA receptor currents. The hope being that this would give us tools to allow us to directly test the hypothesis that potentiation of NMDA receptor currents is important for the efficacy of MGLU5 PAMs. We started this program with, with classical phenylacetylene based molecules and through uh, iterative rounds of chemistry we developed this now what you see the 5-6 heterobicyclic ring system. 551 really just had the perfect balance of properties, potency, efficacy, safety, tolerability, which allowed us to do all the, the key studies you're reading about in the, in the manuscript today, but also to advance a compound into clinical development that for the first time had the appropriate safety window to advance. At the Vanderbilt Center for Neuroscience Drug Discovery, one of the responsibilities of the molecular pharmacology team each week is to test a number of compounds that have been synthesized by our chemists. And we look at them in vitro for their potency and their efficacy at our target. One of the reasons that VU551 was chosen as our candidate is that it displayed good potency at MGLU5 and good efficacy, as well as high selectivity for MGLU5 versus the other metabotropic glutamate receptors, as well as a panel of other GPCRs and ion channels. Activation of MGLU5 has been historically shown to be important for an NMDA receptor independent form of long-term depression in the hippocampus, and our PAM uh, VU0409551 was able to potentiate this particular form of long-term depression like the previously reported PAMs. However, unlike some other MGLU5 PAMs, it did not potentiate an NMDA receptor-mediated inward current, neither did it potentiate a synaptic NMDA current in the Schaefer collateral CA1 synapse of the hippocampus, and also it failed to potentiate um, an NMDA receptor dependent form of synaptic plasticity in the hippocampus. All of this taken together shows that it does not couple to an MDA receptor function. So this data sh clearly provides a strong evidence that there is stimulus bias between the different MGLU5 PAMs and shows that we have identified a unique MGLU5 PAM that does not couple to an MDA receptor function. The studies within this manuscript suggest that the antipsychotic and cognition enhancing efficacy of MGLU-R5 PAMs can be achieved without direct potentiation of MGLU-R5 receptor coupling to NMDA receptors. Interestingly, even though VU551 does not potentiate NMDA receptor function, our studies demonstrate that it provides robust efficacy in models of psychosis as well as those that enhance cognitive function. Also, our data suggests that MGLU-R5 PAMs that provide efficacy in the absence of NMDA receptor potentiation provide a larger therapeutic index in that we avoid neurotoxicity that's been observed with previous MGLU-R5 PAMs. In addition to providing surprising insights into the relevance of NMDA receptor modulation for efficacy of MGLU-R5 PAMs, these exciting results illustrate the potential utility of developing ligands that bias signaling of G-protein coupled receptors. It is exciting to learn that MGLUR5 PAMs that do not potentiate MGLUR5 modulation of NMDA receptor currents retain full efficacy but induce fewer adverse effects that have been observed with previous MGLUR5 PAMs.